This is the surface area and volume of pyramids and cones tutorial. Let's begin by identifying what pyramids and cones are. Here are a few examples of common pyramids and cones that you'll see in math. In the top left pyramid we have a regular triangular pyramid and then down below that is a square pyramid and down below that even further is actually a pentagon pyramid. And then we just have your typical cones. Typical cone is just a circle with two lines coming up to meet some point in space. Let's begin the lesson by teaching you how to calculate the lateral area, surface area, and the volume of pyramids. Alright, so here we have the three formulas. Let's begin by looking at the lateral area of a regular pyramid. The lateral area of a regular pyramid is the area of the faces around the pyramid, not including the bottom face. So in this case, it's these four faces on the pyramid that make up the lateral area. Now the surface area actually includes the bottom face as well. And the volume of the pyramid is all the space inside that pyramid. So let's take this first example and calculate these three things. We'll begin with the lateral area. Now the formula for the lateral area is it's equal to one half the perimeter of the base of this pyramid times the slant height. And the slant height is this seven inch line indicated right here. It's a line if you were to travel up one edge of the square base here up to the top point right here. That distance right there is known as the slant height in pyramids. So since we're dealing with a square base, it's easy to calculate the perimeter. In this case, the perimeter of the square is just going to be 20 inches. It's going to be four times one side length. And you can see by the red congruency tick marks that it is a square. All four side lengths are congruent, the same length as each other. So now that we have the perimeter and the slant height was given to us, so I'm going to write that as L here, our slant height is 7 inches. We can take those two and solve for the lateral area. Lateral area is equal to one half that perimeter, 20 inches, times that slant height, 7 inches. So we have one half of 20 times 7, and 20 times 7 is 140. Half of 140 is 70, so our lateral area for this pyramid is 70 inches squared. Remember, whenever you're dealing with area, you're dealing with two dimensions, which means you're going to be raising your unit to the number two. Now let's deal with surface area. Surface area is just the lateral area plus the area of the base. The area of the base is pretty easy to calculate here because it's a square, and you know that to calculate the area of a square, it's just side squared. So the area of our particular base is going to be 5 squared, since that's the side length. So it's going to have a base area of 25 inches squared. We know our lateral area, because we just solved for it, that's 70 inches squared. So our total surface area here is equal to 70 inches squared plus 25 inches squared. So it's 95 square inches for this particular pyramid. Lastly, let's calculate the volume of this pyramid. The volume of the pyramid is equal to one-third the area of the base times the height. Now, notice we didn't say slant height. In this case, we're actually referring to the height. So the height of the pyramid is calculated by drawing a line straight down from the top of the pyramid to the center of the pyramid. So that green line right there would be our height. And you'll notice that if we draw another line here to the edge of the pyramid, we can connect those two sides we just drew in with the slant height and make a right triangle. Here's our right triangle right here. And we know that the side length of this pyramid is 5 inches, which means from this point right here to the center of the pyramid, it must be 2.5 inches. So I'll write that down below, 2.5 inches. Now you can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the missing side of this right triangle, which is right here. And that missing side is the height of this triangle. So we know the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a and b are the side lengths of your right triangle and c is the hypotenuse length. 
So we'll make a that 2.5 that we know. So we have 2.5 squared plus b squared, which is what we're looking for, is equal to c squared, the hypotenuse, which we know is 7. So 2.5 squared is 6.25 plus b squared is equal to 7 squared, which is 49. We want to solve for b here, so I'm going to subtract 6.25 from both sides of the equation. So on the left, the 6.25s are going to cancel. We're going to have b squared. And on the right, we have 42.75. Now we want the value of b, not b squared. So to get rid of that square, I'm going to take the square root. And I've got to do that to both sides of the equation. On the left, the square root and the square are going to cancel, and we're going to have b is equal to 6.5. So we know that the height of our triangle here, the height of our pyramid also, is 6.5 inches. So I'm going to remove that Pythagorean theorem work, and we'll go ahead and solve for the volume of this pyramid. All right. So the volume of our pyramid is equal to one-third the area of the base, which we calculated here, and that's 25 square inches, times the height, which we just solved for, and that was b here, as also indicated by b on our diagram. So our height is 6.5 inches. Now we're just going to do that work, and we'll get an answer of 54.2 cubic inches. Now remember, our answer is cubic inches because volume deals with three dimensions, the left and right dimension, the up and down dimension, and forward and back as well. So because it's dealing with three dimensions, our variable is cubed, our units here, inches, is cubed. All right, now let's move on to learning how to calculate the lateral area, surface area, and volume of a cone. All right, so here are our formulas again. In this case, to calculate the lateral area of a right cone, that's equal to pi times the radius times the slant height. And again, slant height is going from the top vertice here down to one side of our figure, in this case, the side of the cone. And that lateral area is all the area around the cone, so in this region here, but not that circular base down along the bottom. If you were to add in the area of that base down along on the bottom, then you'd have the surface area of the entire figure, which is why the formula for the surface area is just the lateral area plus the area of that base. And lastly, to calculate the volume of a cone, you multiply one-third times the area of the base times the height. And again, we'll show you the height once we get there. Let's begin by finding the lateral area of this cone. So the lateral area is equal to pi times the radius, which in this case is 5, times the slant height, which is 7. So our lateral area is 7 times 5, which is 35, pi. And I'll multiply that out now to get a lateral area of roughly 110. And in this case, we're dealing with square inches. Again, because we're dealing with area which is in two dimensions. Now let's calculate the surface area. The surface area is just equal to the lateral area, which in this case is 110, plus the base area. And remember, to calculate the area of the base, in this case, because it's a circle, we're going to use the formula for the area of a circle, which is just pi times radius squared. So the area of our circle is going to be pi times 5 squared. And 5 squared is 25, so the area of our circle is 25 pi. So if you multiply that out by pi, the area of our circle is 78.5 and that's inches squared again. And that's the area of our base as well, so I'm going to plug that back into our surface area formula right here where we left off, 78.5, and we're going to add those two together. So the total surface area for this cone is 188.5 inches squared. Lastly, let's calculate the volume for this cone. And again, volume is one-third the area of the base times the height. 
And just like in that pyramid, the height is a line drawn from the top of the cone down to the center of the cone, like so. And that line is going to make a 90 degree angle down here. So now we have a triangle, the hypotenuse of which is 7 inches, and this base side is 5 inches. So we'll use our Pythagorean theorem again. That 5 inches is going to be our a value, so we have 5 squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, and c in this case is 7. So 5 squared is 25, plus b squared, which is what we're solving for, the height, is equal to 7 squared, which is 49. We'll subtract 25 off both sides of the equation. On the left, we're left with b squared, because the 25 is canceled. And on the right, we have 24. Now we just want to take the square root of both of these numbers. On the left, the square root and the square are going to cancel, and we're going to have b remaining. On the right, the square root of 24 comes out to 4.9. So that's going to be the height that we're dealing with here. So to calculate the volume, we have one-third, the area of the base, which we found right here, which was 78.5 square inches, times the height which we just solved for, it was 4.9. So you can go ahead and multiply those all together and you get a total volume of 128.2 inches cubed. Now oftentimes the longest part of these calculations is finding the height or the slant height depending on what you've been given in the problem. So you just want to get a lot of practice in here on calculating those two pieces and it always comes down to how you can use your Pythagorean theorem and how quickly you can get the work done. Remember that you want to practice it because you want to be accurate with the work as well as fast with your work.